question is about differentiation and using differentiation to find the equation of a normal to a curve. We are given a curve in this question and the curve is x is 2 tan of y plus pi by 12. We are given a point p on the curve and we're told that the y coordinate of p is pi by 4. We're asked to find the equation of the normal to the curve at p. Now, a couple of things to note. These aren't part of the questions. The first thing to note is x is the subject of the formula, not y. Okay? And the second thing to note is we are given a y coordinate and we need to find an x coordinate of p. Okay? And x is the subject of the formula. So, um, it, we don't necessarily know what this curve looks like and we don't really care what the curve looks like, but imagine the curve looks something... Uh, like this. Let's just say it looks something like that. I think it does tend to look a bit like that, but I won't go into the detail. Um, when y is pi by 4, maybe here, maybe this is our point P, where we have an unknown x-coordinate and y is pi by 4, we are being asked to find the equation of the normal to the curve there. So there are two pieces of information we need. We're going to need the x-coordinate of p, obviously, and we're going to need uh, the ta the equation, uh, sorry, the uh, gradient of the normal, and we're going to do that by finding the equation of the tangent first, and then using that to find the gradient of the normal. So, let's get ourselves the first easy mark. Firstly, um, let's find what the x-coordinate of uh, p is. So, when y is pi by 4, x would be equal to substituting pi by 4 in there, 2 tan of pi by 4 plus pi by 12. Now all you've got to do is tap that into your calculator, obviously making sure your calculator is in radians mode. And doing that, you get yourself 2 root 3. x is 2 root 3. Do not decimalize this. Leave it as a third. Leave it in exact form. So you've got the x and the y coordinate. Good. Now we need the gradient. In order to get the gradient, we need dy by dx at this point. So x is the subject of the formula. All we can do at the moment is differentiate with respect to y. So dx by dy would be equal to the differential of this, which would be 2. The differential uh, inside the brackets here, the differential of y plus pi by 12 is simply uh, 1, so it would be 2 times 1. The differential of tan is sec squared, and you evaluate it at the original bracket, y plus pi by 12. Okay, which is simply 2 sec squared, y plus pi by 12. Okay, so that's dx by dy. Now, um, if you're not sure where I got this from, let's just go back to this here. If we have uh, x is equal to 2 tan of y plus pi by 12. Okay, now we're differentiating uh, a, a function of a function here. Here's the inner function and here's the outer function. The differential of this bracket with respect to y is simply 1. And the differential of tan, so that's where this 1 came from. Then you differentiate the outer function, set squared, but you evaluate it at the original function, at y plus pi by 12. So what we're using, we're using f of g of x, the differential of that in general form, where dy by dx is g dash x, f dash at g of x. That's what we're applying here. Now, this is dx by dy. Um, dy by dx, then, we want the equation of the um, gradient of the tangent. That's dy by dx. It's not dx by dy. So it's 1 over this thing here, 2 sec squared y plus pi by 12. Okay? And then, simply, 1 over 2 here, this 1 over 2, you can write this as a half. 1 over sec squared, or 1 over sec squared must be cos squared, so that's cos squared, y plus pi by 12. And that's your general uh, formula for dy by dx in terms of y. 
Now, you want dy by dx at this particular point, so you want dy by dx when the y value is equal to pi by 4. Now, all you've got to do is substitute that into there. So you would do a half uh, cos squared, so you would do 0 0.5 times cos of um, pi by 4 plus pi by 12 squared and you would get yourself 1 8th. Doing that you would get yourself um, 1 8th and this is the gradient of the tangent. Okay, so the gradient of the normal is the negative reciprocal of that would be negative 8. Okay, now at this point I'm just going to rub off a little bit above here. I'm going to rub off this working here. So hopefully you've got that down. And we know the gradient of the normal is negative 8. We know a point on the normal line, which is pi by 4, 2 root 3. So we're going to use the formula y subtract y1 is mx subtract x1. So y subtract pi by 4 is negative 8x subtract 2 root 3. Now you could expand it out and collect like terms. It doesn't ask you to put it in any particular form. I just leave my work like that and move on. And there's your answer.